Hello, I'm Lucinda, massage therapist. I'm going to be working on our model Michelle today. We are going to be working over the glutes, legs, and feet. Let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have time to watch this right now, go ahead and add us to your watch list and join us when you can. Okay, so today we're going to be working on the feet, legs, and glutes. We're going to go ahead and start with adding a little oil to the feet. And we're just going to get in there and loosen things up. We're going to be going down from the heel, spreading out through the toes. However, if the person you're working on has like plantar fasciitis, then you would bring it towards the heel to not cause any more damage. going to get in there and knead at it a little bit, loosen everything up. We're going to do some yoga toes, so that's back and forth, walking them, and then kind of splits the toes, and then you can hit a little pressure point in between. And go on to the next one. And squeeze in between the toes. And if you want, you can always put like your leg up there to really Get into it. And we're just going to hit some points around the heel. Get that to release. And you can always do a little tapping. Get in there and just let it loosen up. And we're going to just kind of fold it. down, which is a good calf stretch, good through the Achilles. And we're going to stick our finger in between that big toe, just kind of loosen up the ankle right there. Do some circles, forward and reverse. If you want, you could go in with your elbow. It's probably going to pop some toes. People who are on their feet a lot really appreciate that. And then we're going to go ahead and work some oil, get going on the legs here. Little effleurage to begin. And from there you can go into petrissage. Doing some swoops and scoops. And 
And really work in at the Achilles. And I'm just going to kind of go through and strip out the calf. This is a lomi lomi technique, so I'm applying about medium to deep pressure. And if you want to get real deep, I would use the forearm. Make sure you have enough glide first though. Slow and controlled with the same amount of pressure all the way through. As you get to the outer, you can switch arms. and stretch out that calf again. Let's see. And from here, if they have really tight calves, you could put your knee up here just to hold the leg in place. And we're gonna strip out through the calf. So when you get to the belly of the muscle, the meaty part, about right here for the um, calf, you're gonna have her do circles. We're gonna go one way. So go ahead and circle, Michelle. Good. 
And when we get about here for the meaty part, I'm gonna say switch. So reverse the other way. And you'll usually hear some clicking and popping like through the ankle or through all that area just to get everything to release. Hurts so good, but hey, it works. And switch. And again, reverse. And switch. Keep going. And reverse. Switch. Good. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and stretch on the un underside through her um, psoas. This is a great one. So we're just gonna lift up the leg, give a little stretch, and then you're gonna put the knee under there. And you're just gently gonna roll that leg in towards you. And trust me, they can feel it. It doesn't seem like you're doing much, but you most definitely are. And then to continue that stretch through the front, uh, hip flexor, we're gonna, you can take your knee, depending how big the person is, um, to get them to move. And then from there, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna bring it in. And open up that hip, lifting up. And you can go in and hit the glutes to really loosen it this way. And then up to the glute, we're gonna go ahead and start with a spontaneous muscle release technique. So with that, you're just gently gonna barely go in about a quarter inch on each side. So this is releasing the glutes um, <clears throat> to their original pattern. So um, yeah, they can do their own work and it's just letting go. And so like people who have sciatica um, will definitely appreciate this move. And we're just gonna hold that for about 40 seconds to a minute. So, and while I'm doing so, I'm gonna ask Michelle to take some deep breaths with me, just to get her body to go one step further in relaxing. So go ahead. And it's already starting to release up here through the QL again. And from there, we're gonna grab onto the outside of the hips and just do that same type of movement. It's just smart, spontaneous muscle release technique. So just very gentle. And again, keep breathing. Breathing is key. Just gently gonna move up about another quarter to a half inch and hold. And again.
So it doesn't really seem like you're doing much, but I totally did feel her, her hips appreciated that and loosened up just with those nice, subtle, gentle movements. And you can go back into the smart. And her lower back is still letting go. So, yep, it doesn't hurt to go back through this again. knead through the glutes, bring that on down, if there's a lot of congestion through the glutes where they don't want to completely let go, I like to bring a leg in and then kind of use the leg to maneuver. Start up through the glutes and work all the way down. Some nice long lomi lomi strokes. down to the foot, tying it all in. what I have for today. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.